Hey, what's up everybody? Penn here, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to install Wallpaper Engine and so that you can pimp out your PC wallpaper background and you can bring more life to your setup. First thing you're going to need to do is download the Steam client. So the link will be in the description. Um, it's store.steampower.com. Um, so I'm going to have that link in the description for you guys and you would just click on this button install steam it's also available on you know different platforms Mac and all that and you can see your options here so get the client installed and once you have the client installed then um, it's going to look like this so I'll just bring it up right here okay so this is the steam client all right so um, this is pretty much my home page whatever so what you want to do is you want to search the store so what you're going to be looking for is something called wall it comes right up wallpaper engine alright so it's um it's four dollars so it's cheap and you can read about the features here and um, you can see the system requirements right here alright so what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to buy it you know add to cart and then it's a very quick download and then it will be in your library so let's go to home and this is what it will be located at in case um, you want to find it so that's just one of the ways you can access it right within Steam. All right, so let's go to the actual software. So this is the UI. Uh, this is the wallpaper um, engine, Steam edition. And um, there's probably a few alternative ways to go about adding life to your PC background slash wallpaper, but this is just the way that I've shown it and the way I've been using it for quite a while. All right, so you get to the home page um, you have your home you could favorite things thumbs up thumbs down see more uh, search discover is probably going to be the page in which you're going to be on just to find some quick backgrounds like I, I like uh, these RGB ones and all that so I'm probably going to be leaning towards those but you can search for all-time classics you can scroll through these you can through popular game wallpapers um, different anime wallpapers clock wallpapers there's all types of stuff if you have friends on steam which I hope you do um, you can see all the wallpapers that they created from the people that's on your steam friend list and they will show up here and you can download these for free um, you got matrix wallpaper I might check out that matrix one that, that seems pretty slick sports you know popular anime and the list goes on and on but just for the sake of this video um, I'm going to also show the workshop tab you can search for images here and this workshop tab has all of the wallpapers that has been created inside wallpaper engine and as you can see it's over 278 pages of work of wallpaper so there's plenty of options and plenty of wallpapers to scroll through for users where they can add life to their setup so I'm gonna to go to discover because I'm gonna show you guys how to actually set these up um, so I'm gonna get an RGB one and let's say I want this RGB clock one so I'm gonna click on it right and this has a five star rating as you can see it's very small and it's in 4k resolution that's amazing because I have a 4k monitor I'm running two monitors so this is going to show up on both monitors on my setup I'm going to click on the green button called subscribe pay close attention I'm going to click on it right so it's going to download and then I should have it as my wallpaper let's see this so there you go so this is the um the result as you can see it's one click installs and it looks very well done nice lighting color 
I'm not sure if you guys can see it on your end because most likely this video will be uploaded in 1080p but in 4k um, it looks amazing and um, that's how you will go about you know installing your stuff all right in this part I'm going to be showing um, the settings so in your Windows notification tray because this is a Windows 10 tutorial by the way I'm going to open up the program right click it and then there's going to be settings so this is the settings menu alright and um, these are just my settings um, so you can pause the video and you can feel free to copy these if you wish um, I did change some things around to where you can stop and pause because this is using up more RAM because this is a live interactive wallpaper so please keep that in mind uh, so I have it set at a high priority and it's going to be starting whenever I start my windows so whenever I shut it down and um, start the computer over again this wallpaper will come up so it's going to be running in the background um, it will be a windows service once I click this box here start with windows some wallpapers come with audio I turn the audio off I don't want it for the audio um, the wallpaper that's moving in the background for this particular example is enough for me some of you may want the audio you may want the full experience if that is the case you will keep this checkbox checked alright so uh, plugins um, that's default and this is the about section so that's pretty much it um, that wraps up the tutorial um, I hope everyone has enjoyed this tutorial um, this is how you add life to your background on your PC setup you know like you don't want the same boring images from Google images um, you probably want something that people have created or took some time to make and you know can bring some theme or you know bring life into your setup you know like this is how or this is one of the ways where you make you know in this case the PC yours if that makes sense you know like make it yours you know and um, I'm gonna go back into it so I'm gonna close this out and I'm gonna change my settings again well my background my apologies and I'm gonna go to install because I already have some installed and this is where you have all your installed backgrounds and I'm gonna click on this one and as you can see it changes so as I move my mouse this background is more interactive because as I move my mouse the colors change see that I'm gonna go to another one I'm gonna do one more example for you guys I'm gonna do this Corsair one this neon color wheel it's pretty slick alright now check this out look at that and this is my background on Windows 10 on my computer set up perfectly yeah so it has a nice um, animation I had to pause the video for a bit and um, as you can see you know the amount of images and live interactive backgrounds you can use with this tool is pretty amazing so uh, yeah this wraps up the tutorial um, Please, you know, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. If you enjoyed my videos, I will be pushing out more content, more tutorials in the coming days and weeks on this channel. I will be giving you guys options. And, um, you know, keep watching. This is Penn Sign Out. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Bye.